Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while. I try to post my birthday weekend vlog weekend and it had a little bit of the issues and it wouldn't post so we're gonna try with this one. Hopefully it's not as long and it will post and if it is that long, well, we'll work with it. We'll see what we can do. But that is not what you're here for. You're here for the title. That is the name on this video, which is my summer reading goals. Now the books, I am looking at them. Some of them are chunky boys, but we're going to get them done. Hopefully, if not the summer, sometime this year, because I rated my, well not rated, I upped my Goodreads goal this year a little high so we'll see if I can reach that goal and if we can by the end of the year yay anyway enough about that let's just jump right on in to the books I want to read for the summer I don't know why I'm doing this but we're doing it anyway moving on moving on all right and these are no in particular order in what way I want to read them it's just I know I want to read them this summer that's that's it that's all I want to do but the first book well like I said not the first one I'll actually physically read this summer but what I want to get to is The Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lanny Taylor now I don't know a whole lot about this one I want to try to go pretty blind into my books usually but I've heard good things about this one who is the daughter of Smoke and Bone and there's not like a review of what this book is about is it? Is there? No there is not. But anyway, there's a daughter of smoke and bone. Just love how gorgeous the cover is. Moving on. Now uh, this next one I have heard good things about and I really want to try to get to it. And of course that is Truly Devious by Morin Johnson and it kind of sounds up right up my alley. I'm, I'm going to probably butcher like a lot of these names so bear with me please. Elegam Academy is a famous private school in Vermont founded by an early 20th century tycon for the best and the brightest students around. When Elegam's wife and daughter were kidnapped, the only clue was a mocking riddle listing methods of murder signed with a frightening I'm not going to even try to say that word after frightening. Truly devious, their disappearance became one of the greatest unsolved crimes in history. Many years later, true crime avocado, avoc I'm not even sure. <laughs> but anyway, it's just, it's a mystery type of story and I love me a little bit of mystery. And it's like at academy kind of school so sign me up please and then of course you can't go the summer without a little bit of romance am I right and I heard uh, good things about this one as well and it and it is 99% mine by Sally Thorne I haven't read of anything of her books before but I've heard a lot of people talk about this book on booktube so I'm like I'll give it a go and it's about a girl named Darcy, and she has a twin brother named Jamie, I believe. And she falls in love with this guy named Tom, but Tom is Jamie's best friend, so, you know, he's off limits. But I'm hoping that they strike up a romance without her twin knowing it because love love what are you gonna do but it sounds super cute I know I didn't get the best description for this book but it does sound really good so I'm looking forward to that one and I'm looking forward to finishing the rest of Red Sister like I'm like that far in which is about 
163. I need to finish it. And so far, I love me some Nona Gray. She is at this church. I wanted to call it Red Church, but no, that's not this. That's not never. Not never night. But it's kind of like never night, but it's not. She's at a church, and it's taken ten years to educate a red sister in the way of a blade and fist, but there is much more for Nona to learn than the arts of death. Among her class, she finds a new family and new enemies. Yes! And like I said, I so far I really do like it. I just really need to find the time to finish it. And the other one I started a little bit on audio is Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. When the kingdom come, there will be one. And it's about these three different sisters who each have different kinds of magics, and only one of them will be crowned the queen of the whole town. And that's about all I know. And they're, they're tri triplets as well. They're three sisters. Three dark sisters, all fair to be seen. To devour and one to be queen. I'm excited to find out which one will be queen. I'm a little late to this party, but we're going to get to it. And the other book <coughs> I'm finally getting around to, it came out, I think, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but I'm finally getting to Iron Gold, my friends. It came out last year. This is the fourth book in the Red Rising trilogy, and I'm really excited because Dark Age comes out this summer, so I have to read this one so I can read that one. I'm finally all caught up, and I just love me some Daryl. I'm excited to see what happens to the rest of the characters that made it past Morningstar. If you haven't read that book, pause, go read it, come back, read Iron Gold with me this summer, and then also read Dark Age with me because of those two, these two last books, I don't know if they're the last books in the series, but it's the last books I want to read, and I just love this artwork, ah, oh. moving on, uh, well, books are falling down, that's not good. And another book series that I want to get to this summer is The Darker Shade of Magic. And of course, I started a little bit into this, and I don't want to lose my page. But it's about a guy named Kel who can travel through the difference of Londons. There, all I know is there's White London, there's Grey London, there's Black London that's only told for like a bedtime story to scare you. And then there's Red London. I believe that's all the Londons. If I'm missing a London, let me know. I don't think I am. But there's only... Kel is one of the last travelers and magicians with the rare covered, covered ability to travel between a parallel universe connected by one magical city... There's Grey London, dirty and boring, without magic, and with one mad teen, George the Third, Red London, where life and magic are reserved, and where Cal was raised alongside Rye, and their rush here to a flourishing empire, White London, a place where people fight to control magic, and the magic fights back. Draining the city to its very bones, and once upon a time there was a black, m black London, but no one speaks of that now. So yes, that sounds really good, and like I said so far, I'm a little ways into it, and I really am liking it. So here's to the Darker Shade of Magic series. All right, this other big hunk that I was talking about is the Priory of the Orange Tree. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I'm a little ways into it. It's been a while since I picked it up. But from what I've read, I'm really hooked. I'm only on 112. I need to finish this bad boy of a beast this summer and knock it off of my 
red. Yes. But all I know is that it's a, a standalone and it's. <coughs> what are they saying? It's a standalone, it's an adult. I want to see adult fantasy, but I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments. I don't think I am. And there's dragons, and it follows different people. So there's more than one perspective, which I kind of like that. It's not too hard to follow if you're into it, but definitely check this bad boy out. Don't let the size intimidate you because it is really good so far and people are saying it's their favorite book of the year so definitely listen to that and that is the priority of the orange tree just look how gorgeous gushing about a cover what's new the other book I want to get to is the third and final book to the Illumina files I want to try to read Obsidio, and like I said, it's the last one that I need to read this series, and I'm obsessed, and I'm hoping there's just more people from the first book in it, and then more from the second book in this last one as well. I'm not going to go into too much details about this, because we all know about Illuminate, right? If you haven't heard of Illuminate, please go search up Illuminate, and then come back. And then we'll talk. Alright, the other book I want to try to get to is Fire and Blood by George Or... George Or... <laughs> by George R. R. Martin. Wow! George Or... <laughs> that was something. Anyway, this book is basically uh, of the Targaryens in the West Stones. Now we all know the show. Oh, look at the artwork in this. It's gorgeous. Now I won't go into too much detail about this, but I, all I know is that I do want to read it because it looks really good. And the end pages on the back are the same. It's just so gorgeous. And it's huge, but I definitely want to try to read it sometime the summer or this fall, learn more about the Targaryens in Game of Thrones, and about the dragons. Overall, it's, it sounds really good. Alright, you got cut off at the end there. The last book that I want to get to this summer is Lord of Shadows, and it's the book two in the Dark Artifice series. I completely said that wrong. But I want to follow more on Emma and Julian, the Blackthorn family. I want to see how Emma and Mark get their flirtation on if they do. I because she can't be with her parapetri, which is Julian and ah, like I need them together, but I get it, but I don't get it. Oh, they just need to be be together and not have any drama, or not drama, but any issues that go wrong and they can fight it. That's all I want out of this. I don't think I'm going to get it in this one or the last one, but a girl can help, right? Alright. Those are all... I didn't even count to see how many books they're worth. Huh. Give me a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, those are the eleven books that I want to try to read this summer. I don't know if I will get to all of them, but here's to trying. And if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss any further videos from me. I try to post when I can, when my videos let me, and not being a, a little brat. But, yeah. And also hit the notification bell for when I post, because like I said, you don't want to miss any from me. And I do have another video that I'm going to try to work on real quick that's going to be exciting, because I kind of want to do a 4th of July read a fall this year. I'm thinking it'll be fun, and we're going to do it, because I got props down. I got it all planned out, so that's going to be my next video, and... 
I will see you guys in my next one, and hopefully you get a little bit of reading done wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!